I hope you'll enjoy your stay with us, Tom. It'll only be for a week or two till Peter gets over the measles. Mum says it's very kind of you and Aunt Gwen to look after me till Peter gets better. Let's hope he gets better quickly. Yes, quite. Mum says you don't have a garden. No, that's right, we don't. We live in a flat, you see. It's part of a house, a big old house that's been converted into flats. If it's a big old house, why hasn't it got a garden? Well, I suppose it did have in the old days. But now they've built new houses where the garden used to be, like these. Those and those are little boxes. And there's the house where we live. Our flat is on the front of the first floor. I expect your aunt is looking out for it. She does want you to be happy here. Yeah? Tom, dear, how nice to see you. Hello, Angie. My goodness, how you've grown. What a pity about Peter. But I'm sure you'll like it here when the... Yes, I'm afraid the hall isn't very nice, but everyone uses it, you see. Our flat is very comfortable. Oh, go and put the car away. It's being a bit... It's not very... Uh... Well, how is poor old Peter? Mm, rather hot and red. Where does that go to? Oh, it's just the backyard where they keep the dustbins and the coal. Five o'clock. Yes, it keeps good time. I just wish it wasn't so loud. You can hear it all over the house. You can even hear it in our flat. Shall we go upstairs? Uncle Alan will bring the suitcases. Yes, I know. It always strikes the wrong hour. Oh, no, please, don't touch it. It's not our clock, you see. It belongs to Mrs. Bartholomew. She's the old lady who owns the house. She lives on the top floor. And she's very particular about her clock. There's something written on it. Time no longer. What does that mean? I really don't know, dear. Come along. Mm. Well, this is our little home. You see, we're quite cut off from the rest of the house. Your room is in here, Tom. I do hope you'll be comfy. There's bars on the window. Yes, they've always been there. I think it was a nursery once upon a time. A nursery? I'm not a baby. No, of course not, dear, but it isn't a nursery anymore. It's our guest room now. Would you like something to eat? Yes, please. We've got some cold lamb and new potatoes and treacle tart with lots of cream. Would you like that? Good. I'll have it ready in a few minutes. No garden, nothing to explore, nothing to do but sit here for hours and hours and hours. I've only been here 15 minutes, it seems like hours already. It's true. Hear it, even up here. Gwen, aren't you coming to bed? It's very late. I just want to make sure that Tom's all right.
Dear Peter, this is the worst dump I've ever been in. The food's all right. There's nothing to do here. I'd do anything to get out, to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. There's only one good thing. A smashing clock in the hall. I can hear it chiming now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. It struck thirteen. An extra hour. An hour that really isn't there. What time is it? What does it show on the face? I must go and look. I can't see it. I'd better not switch a light on. Perhaps if I open that door, that'll give enough light. Wow! It's a garden! A fabulous garden! Aunt Gwen said there was only a yard at the back. And Uncle said there was only houses. Why are they telling me lies? What's happened to the hall? It's all changed. Clock's the same. At least that hasn't changed. Go back to your room at once. I'm very sorry. I only came down to look at the clock. It struck 13 and... Harriet, did you hear what I said? Yes, Aunt Grace. I'm going back to bed. I only wanted my book. I told you before, you are not to read at night. Give it to me. Now go to your room this instant. Yes, Aunt. Good night. Hello. Do you live here too? It was only because I couldn't sleep and you were... Don't argue with me, you wretched girl. I'm staying with my uncle and aunt. Since I'm obliged to look after you, I expect obedience, if not gratitude. Instead of which, you are a disobedient and ungrateful girl. Now go to your room this instant. And not another word, if you please. They've gone. It's all gone.